Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be about blue crabs. Uh, last video I did some bait recon hitting all my spots, found pilchards, mullet, pinfish, no problem, but I didn't get a chance to do uh, blue crabs because the water was kind of dirtied up, but today's a lot cleaner and I want to hit two of my main areas. Uh, one is this bridge and you'll see some videos where I catch them standing on the bridge and just dropping down baits and scooping them up. But I was doing some recon back in these uh, cuts and uh, my baits were getting chomped up by all the blue crabs. So hopefully this might be even a faster spot, especially when I'm on the kayak. I can stop here, get bait and then head out. So that is the plan. Unfortunately, I checked my uh, bait pump at home for my little uh, blue crab uh, aquarium that I keep. But uh, the pump had died, so I got to order another one. So I'll maybe just keep a couple, maybe play with them. We'll see how the current is out there. I've got the uh, anchor, new anchor all set up, so let's see what we can do. There's our first swimmer there. If I can get them before that shark gets my bait. So it's right there. Oh, spooked them. Don't spook. All right, let's see if I can get them to. Yay, there we go. Perfect. Nice little male. Plus has no claws. And that's a perfect tarpon bait. There we go. Alright, so we've got one on this one bait. So I'm going to slowly bring them in and scoop them up the net here hopefully it doesn't oh don't let go all in one motion here BAM that's the way to do it all right so we can put this back out I'm just using my tarpon rig this has got one claw that's okay in you go oh Get, get, get. These sharks. Okay, that was enough of a success. I picked up a couple of nice crabs, so that'll work. Took a little bit longer, but also I was using some old uh, freezer burned uh, pinfish, which is not very good, but uh, yeah, they're there, so I'm happy. So I've also picked up some uh, grunts, which is a big surprise, so. I'm gonna start calling that my bait spot <laughs> so I can get everything there. Uh, I think I'm gonna go hit the channel out by uh, Shark Channel and drift some baits and wait for the sun to go down a bit and then uh, throw out some of those crabs towards the end. Uh, the outgoing is still going to be rough but I think I'm gonna stay away to the side and then just river fish them, throw them up current and just drift them through the channel, reel back in and just keep doing that. So let's see what we can do. Look at those big old tarpon right there. Massive, massive. Don't spook. Don't. Oh, shoot. Well, since I've got those crabs, I'm kind of waiting for the sun to go down a bit before I start using them. So I went ahead and cast netted some uh, mullet. Got about five of them. Got both lines out. Got the anchor out. See if that setup is still going to survive again. But because the wind is coming out of the north to the south, so basically the current and wind are going together, it's a lot smoother. So I think I'll be all right. Although it is still, as you can see, it's still going. So let's see if we can pick something up. All right, getting into prime time. Running with it. this oh god it's heavy it hasn't broken me off
Oh, and it broke me off. No, nope, it's still there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not jumping. It didn't cut me off, so not a shark, I don't think. I'm on the leader, real long leader. Man, we're at a stalemate. I'm running out of sunlight. Oh, this is when I need that heavy duty vertical jigging rod. This is great for jumpers and but not this straight up and down crap. Oh, she rock. Son of a gun. Oh, bent the hook. Man, I would hope the hell that wasn't a tarpon. I'd be bombed. But the weakest link was a hook. That's a good thing. All right. Oh, ah. Right, we're getting back on anchor. I am wanting to uh, sit out here till dark dark and see if there's any activity at all. I haven't seen one roll nothing. So I'm hoping because of the uh, moon that they're uh, waiting until after dark. But the other thing is this current is still going, hasn't slowed down a bit. And I want to see if there's any activity after dark. So if I can get this out, get a couple baits back out and just kind of listen more than see because it's going to get real dark here real quick. That fish most likely was a shark. I mean, I've had a uh, big tarpon that uh, didn't jump and just acted somewhat like that, but this one is a bit more plotting kind of like a, a big sharks do they don't really panic or freak out they just i'm going that way <laughs> and they just go that way and there's just a little bit of a annoyance pull on them but they don't freak out and that's kind of what that was and then eventually they just stop going and just sit there and you can't do anything so i'm pretty sure that's what it was <laughs> yep that's what it is getting massive explosions all around me I mean, just big old crater to stop. Yeah, you see that? Those are all the tarpon right there. So at nighttime, the mullet are those ones I castinated along the mangroves. They start coming out into this channel, especially now it's almost perfect timing because the uh, current is slowing down. So really what I need to do is get off this anchor and start trolling, just pedal trolling around because that's what they're eating is a mullet. And on the spinner right now, I've got a mullet, and uh, otherwise I'd put on one of the hoagies so I could cast to them. 
Like you can hear them just chasing those schools and just smashing them. See this getting chased. Oh, there we go. Oh, does he spit it? Damn it. Well, he got to hear it. <laughs> I don't know if he killed my bait or not. Uh, no, it's still swimming. Yeah, it's just like a war zone around here. They're just massive explosions all over. I think one might have picked mine up. And it might be swimming this way. Or did it just kill it? <laughs> They're just exploding everywhere. There it is. Oh, did I? Nope. It's... All right, I think we're on now. Gotta watch out for those buoys. See how this fight is a lot different than the uh, the shark. Oh, what the heck! All right. Took a lot of line. Oh, it's a damn shark. Dang it! Oh, that sucker! Ugh. Oh, it's a, looks like a bull. Oh, you stupid waste of time! Oh, baby <laughs> thought I lost you ah thank God for the float I added to the head mount ah crap stinking shark big old bull dang it all right so we are out here in pitch black dark now but this is exactly the same scenario as last year when I finally started running into the tarpon it's not only when the sun goes down it's got that orange glow but when there's pretty much dark dark where that uh, sunrise is gone that's when the uh, mullet come out from the mangroves and those undercuts there where they're hiding throughout the day and then they come out into the uh, channel and that's where they uh, start getting bombed on by these tarpon as you could uh, probably couldn't see but you could definitely hear um they're still here though so i'm going to do now is i'm going to get off anchor Put on a mullet and then pedal use my use my pedals and troll up along the edge there uh, the next time i think i i'll do this is i'm going to set up closer to those mangroves and just disregard everything until it gets dark and just knowing that's when the, the bite is going to happen so that's our next step all right time mullet out i'm going to be slow trolling this around using my pedals and see if they're still feeding they're in here they're just not uh, the mullet aren't uh, schooling out in these channels anymore it's just for that uh, 
short time frame and then they head out to the ocean. So we're just gonna slow troll it around and see what happens. All right, it's running with it. This one's not a jumper again, so I'm not for sure this is a tarpon or not. Hey, <laughs> it is a tarpon. Da da da. Just one of those dudes that just not a big fan of jumping right away. Nice. Now he woke up. All right. All righty, come on. There's the Mr. Tarpon. And I ended up chafing him off and breaking him off. That took a long time probably about an hour and that's that 60 pound finally wore out and broke in the meantime I had to change out two uh, GoPro batteries that sucked and then it splashed and then it soaked all my batteries that I had in a Ziploc bag because I had it open ah oh, tired I'm done <laughs>